Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Liz, and welcome back to more Battle Brothers. It's day 1.30 in the morning. Last time, we took Brookwall at <laughs> some expense. We lost Ulfert, our spear master on the flank. We also lost, was it Rymar? Yes, Rymar, our knight in training, our knigget in training. Um, in order to make up our line for the time being, I have put Hugo and... Edmund both in. Hugo I have given the uh, coat of scales because he had the fatigue to handle it. That's what uh, Rymar was wearing before. Unfortunately, Kunald here um, did not have the fatigue to take both the helmet and the coat of scales. I think we did end up giving him the helmet though. I think that helmet was uh, Rymar's before. Um, we also put in Havard in the back row to fill in for Kunald's spot. And that is the situation as it stands. We don't need Thorbin in there. Um, so, now we need to evaluate. First of all, I don't want Cunald up here in the front row. He's 17 and 21, which is starting to get there. I mean, we're 22 and 12 on Hagen, which is not there either, necessarily. But I don't think I want him up here in the front row. Cool thing is, as a militia, he has the perfect passion background, like the perfect stars. Two stars there, one star in both of his defenses. He should turn out okay, except his fatigue is a little low because militia don't get particularly fantastic fatigue. Farmhands, though, HP and fatigue by default, and you know, you might be able to get somebody with melee skill and maybe a passion in one of these guys, and if they happen to have something like iron lungs as well, then you know, they're just OPAF, aren't they? As opposed to a fearless, short sighted person. Well, you'd have 37 resolve if you weren't fearless. So militia generally can have lower resolve as well. <laughs> I mean, similar to a farmhand, I guess. Hagen's about to level up to 11 as well. That's cool. So, we need to uh, re redo some things here on our line. Because, like I say, I don't want to have Cunnold up front right now. I want to get him back here in Havard's spot, and I want Havard out. Uh, because Havard is a dastard, and he's perfectly fine sitting on the bench. So to achieve that, I think what we're going to do is go hiring a bunch of farmhands and releasing a bunch of farmhands. Because they're so cheap and we've got a good amount of money, we can afford to hire a whole bunch of them. See if we can find any with a really good trait like Iron Lungs, for example, and really good starting HP and Fatigue, decent melee skill. They're not going to have any defenses, let's face it. They're going to have zero or one defenses. But maybe we could get a star in a defense, and maybe a star or two in the least skill, like Hagen here has, right? Uh, and we're going to see if we can make that work. Again, farmhands have, I mean, not absolutely top tier starting stats, but like the second best tier of starting stats, farmhands and uh, lumberjacks. So basically, let's go for it. Also, I think, I think, I think, I think... They do have a hunter here. What I would like to do, I know we got ourselves a new bowman in, not Raymond, in uh, Bertwin here recently. But I think maybe what I would like to do is get a second person with Rally. Um, so that uh, they, can, they can be in in place of Ulf and still Rally us. But I want the second person with Rally and High Resolve to be a bow user. So they can go with a Sergeant Sash even, and uh, they won't bring the banner. They'll just have, you know, Rally. But they'll have a bow, and they can shoot the fucking shit out of people. Like, my bowmen here just don't have the Resolve for it. Evold would have maybe if he had always leveled up with Resolve, but he didn't. And the thing is, Hunters, in addition to be being the best basically range skill user, tend to have decent resolve and resolve abilities and all that as well. So for a thousand bucks, I am considering hiring Cory here, even though we have Bertwin here leveling. I mean, we're going to do it. We are going to do it. Let's just do it. And I want to see what your stats are, Cory. What are your stats? Cory does not have the resolve we want. Also doesn't have any passion and range skill. Has both defenses and HP. Cory. Cory, bro. Cory. Whoops. Actually, we can just release you from here. I'm sorry to say that 
I'm going to release you. So we just paid a grand for somebody who basically didn't pay off at all. You know, that, that's that's a thing. Uh, but that's alright. We're at the point where we don't mind spending a little bit of money to experiment like that. Sell prices here are what? Probably poor. We just captured it, right? Find something that I know the price on, for frack's sake. What do I know the price on? I know the price on this, and this is low. So yes, we are not selling here. We just captured Brookwall. Let's head back to Kallenberg and get our crowns. 4,220 crowns. I changed our lineup just so we could go back. If we run into a company along the way, we're going to need to be able to deal with it. And remember, there was a company patrolling up and down here, like 20-something people. We'd actually have a lot of trouble with that if we ran into it. We are still hostile to these guys now, so we have to be very cautious where we go in the world, uh, because that's a thing. Come on. Looks like some dire wolves. That's fair. We don't have a patrol mission. Okay, who are you employed by? Collenberg, that's fine. You'd be pink if you were employed by somebody else, so... Oh, we fought you! They were the guys who defended, um... Torvaholm's uh, farm when we went and, um... Appropriated goods for the Lord there. Let's turn this in. Come on. Yeah! 4,320 crowns. Brookwall has fallen. Uh... What's our relationship looking like with you now? Still pretty neutral, but we are gaining a little bit, which is good because, you know, we were losing with other houses. Not necessarily the ideal way that you want to do things, but uh, whatever. They have us on their side. They don't need nobody else, right? There is another faction contract. Put an end to the war. A decisive battle. I want to do this. Assist the army in their battle against House Harkon. Yeah, we can we can do another decisive battle. I want to do this, but I don't know if we have the people we need to make it happen right now. Messenger. I don't want to mute the messenger. Uh, prices here should be adequate, right? Prices here are adequate. We could probably get better. I don't want to sell copper here. You know what? We might head to the big city. No, I've, I've got... Uh, oh, I do need to sell. I need to sell. Okay, so let's sell. We've got a whole lot of these male hauberks now. A uh, leather tunic. We will sell this one. I don't need to keep all those. We'll keep the male shirt and the basic male shirt for the time being. We're also going to keep the reinforced male hauberk. Let's get rid of these guys. We'll keep this male quaff. Do I want it? I'd rather have the closed mail quaff, and I have a closed mail quaff, so no, I don't think I want that. Uh, no, I need your closed mail quaff because I put you in a flat top because you have a crossbow right now. So we do need this for when you become an archer again. I'm going to keep this quaff for the time being. We are going to sell nasal helmet with mail. No, that's the same as these ones. It's just lower repair. It means I don't need to keep you anymore. 140, 130s. We can get rid of these 130s. Keep the 140 as a crossbowman helm, I suppose. Well, you know, honestly, it's only fatigue. It's only four more fatigue. It's probably not a big deal. I don't need more heaters. And kites. I have my heaters and kites. That's all I need for the time being for replacements. Uh, get rid of those. The dagger. Falchion. Knives. Keep the extra war cleaver. I'm glad to see that guy. Morning stars go bye-bye. We actually need a winged mace, don't we? We kind of really do. We got a couple new bill hooks. I like to see that. Also, great swords. We got like two of them from Zvianders. That's excellent. I like to see that. Keep that guy. Uh, you know what? We're going to sell a bunch of pikes. We're going to keep the heavy crossbow, and we're probably going to end up using it right away. Um... I don't need all of these arrows. I probably don't need these bolts, but we'll keep them. I want the nets because I actually bought the nets. And this, I can do better later. This is actually cost on this, and I can do better on that later. Good. Very good. We need some food. All you have is shitty grains, so we're going to need more food than that. But that's a start, I suppose. We're at 19,726. So the question is, can I do this contract as it is? Recruiting more people won't help because I'm not going to want to have more people, like any new recruits, in on this battle. 
So this is what the lineup would be. This is the optimal go here. The only thing I might do is replace Ulf with Raymond. Well, no, I'd replace Bertwin with Raymond. We'll heal by tomorrow, and then either Bertwin can go in Ulf's spot, or Ulf can stay in the battle just because he should stay in the battle. I think maybe he's going to stay in the battle. Armor is getting there. What's our situation on tools look like? I have enough, it's just going to take me time. Um, it's already midday, so he's going to be back in like in two seconds, right? Yeah, now if we go into here, he's he's back, yeah? Yeah, Raymond is back. So Raymond, come in here instead of Bertwin. Bertwin, you are going to get a heavy crossbow, which is going to need repairs, I'm sorry. If you're going to have a heavy crossbow, I'm going to put you in the line here. I'm a little worried about Havard and the morale that he's going to start with, though. Can only have steady morale or worse, but he always starts at wavering. If he's going to be in the battle, I feel like Ulf needs to be in the battle, too. So even if we got the heavy crossbow, I don't think we can use it. We cannot wield it. Uh, I think, given the situation, we, could he we should head west to Weissenfels. And we should see if we could get ourselves some more tools and other stuff from there. And then maybe we will head back and take on this decisive battle. Maybe we should have accepted the contract while we could, actually. That might have been a good idea. Will we get there? Oh! Ooh. Yes, we will get there. Terrified villagers. Lovely. That means, oh, well, your prices aren't that terrible. I can take that. Uh, bread is not good, but we will take... Um, you actually produce copper here, and the rings are super expensive, so I guess not. Uh, even with your disappearing villagers, yeah, these prices are kind of bad, aren't they? They're not great, is what they are. You do have a closed mail quaff, though. And if I am looking for another hunter-type person, I am actually going to buy that right now at that price, because 300 and something isn't that expensive. You might have farm hands. You don't have a farm hand. You have a farm here! But you don't have farm hands. We should look at what this is. Secure tomb of the Mad King. That sounds fascinating. I need time to think about this. It sounds like that's the kind of thing where we might be able to get ourselves a legendary weapon. Oh yeah, but no. Or legendary armor or something. But no, we're not going to do it. We're going to head back north over here as people are healing up, and I think we're going to take on this decisive battle. We do need to watch for these footprints. This was the uh, the vice, uh, the House of Alberg company that moved... Okay, that's the first Kallenberg company. We don't want to mess with that. Run away! Speed won it. They did move up towards Kallenberg, which is intriguing because it's the first Kallenberg company, but they don't belong to the house that owns Kallenberg. Where are you going to go? Where are you going? Who are you fighting? You're fighting the dogs of war and... Okay, yeah, this is a battle that we went in on. Oh, we didn't get it in time. There's another company over here, though. What is this? This is the third Donnerfest company. This actually could potentially cause some losses for us. Dogs of War, are you going to join in too? Yeah, Dogs of War are going to join in. Now we're going to join in. Yeah, so they have a few Zvinders, a few Footmen, a Billman, an An Arbalester, a few Standard Bears, and a Sergeant. That An Arbalester is the big deal here. We don't want to fight a crap out of them. We will be in one of the reinforcing positions. It looks like it's the bottom reinforcing position. Yeah, we all got into the bottom reinforcing position. This is going to take a little bit. I honestly don't think we're actually going to get a kill in this battle, but uh, we're going to get uh, our share, our fair share of 80% of the experience just for being here, whether we kill anything or not. So that's good. I've said this before, but if you're not familiar with how experience works in Battle Brothers, the person who gets the kill gets 20% of the experience for the kill. Uh, Everybody else on that person's side who participates in the battle, period, whether they do anything worthwhile or not, if they are in the battle, they count, get uh, to split the other 80% of the experience. So the more people participate, the less experience you get from that split, and there's obviously 45 of us on this side, 
So the split is not going to be advantageous to us, but we will be able to split it at least. That's like anybody who's like, we're not going to get any experience, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's not true. You will get some as long as you participate, like as long as you show up to the battle. And the bigger the battle is on your side, I should, we should have gone up here. The bigger the battle is on your side, the less experience you are personally going to get. Ah, you can't make it. You don't have the range. The range, the range, the range. Um, you can get up here, but you don't have very good vision. This is why we wanted the archer up here. The archer has more vision. And he would have made better use of the high ground here. But when we get him onto the high ground here next turn, I think next turn, yeah, definitely at least here next turn, everything should be fine. So they're down to nine. I honestly don't think we're going to get a chance to participate in this battle. But I'm okay with that. Because it's the little things. Oh my goodness. At least our archers moved in a decent place in initiative. And by decent place, I mean basically after frickin' everybody else. I mean, the rest of my people have relatively close initiatives, so that's good. Yeah, move up to here, it's fine. You're not gonna spawn anything, you don't have the vision for it. Especially wearing that helmet. Ulf, move over to this flank. You're not gonna move yet. Uh, you're just gonna move forward, and you'll spot something, but it's our guy. It's uh, one of the Iron Dogs, is that it? Mercenaries? Hagen is way up on his own, doesn't spot anything. Wolfgang, move in to back him up. Torleaf. What we really want is to get our archers up there. Or take this high ground. This high ground would do it. Come on! Come on! Alright, where can you go? You can get all the way up here. Yes, please. What's your vision show? Freaking nothing. Well, we see another mercenary now. We see two mercenaries. It's interesting that the mercenaries managed to join in the front position and not in the top position. Although, they would have reinforced the bottom first and then the top second, right? So maybe, maybe that makes sense, since we're the only people who spawned in the bottom position. Now let's just creep around a little bit more. I mean, next turn you could just go over, so who cares, but still. Wolfgang, one more ahead. Once more ahead, Wolfgang. So we're still at 42, they're at 8. I see throwing axes, I see bolts, I see all kinds of shit flying all over the place. Here we go. Here we go. Do we see any enemies? We do not even see any enemies, but we do see Sir Rupert. Is this the first time we've been in a battle with Sir Rupert? I think, mayhap, it could be. Let's move up to this high ground and then this high ground eventually. Yeah, only six enemies left, and they're moving up in general, and also this way. So maybe there's still somebody over here. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, look, we are here. Our mercenary company is here to back you up, Hells Vileberg. Look, look, look. Love us. Appreciate us. Give us the loot. Give us bill hooks and shit. Yeah, that, or, 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 or a heavy crossbow. Give us a heavy crossbow. You know, just for, just for showing up. You have a noble sword. That noble sword is mighty attractive looking to me right now. I mean, I understand that you're our ally, but who says that a crossbow bolt or a or an arrow that's actually targeted at the enemy isn't just gonna, you know, accidentally hit you in the back of the skull and pierce your armor, right? Who, who said? Who said? Who said? Yeah, they, they got some arbalisters going on. And these these are actually mercenary marksmen. Wait, that's a master archer. What the fuck? Master archer and a mercenary. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's got a warbow, that master archer. Holy balls. They've got the dog pile on this guy. I can see three enemies now, though. <laughs> I'm not going to see them for long because they're all dead. Oh my goodness, they're all dead. Hmm. All right, let's just keep moving. There's five enemies. I can see three of them, so there's only two left after them. Four? Ooh, you're getting close to dead, though, Footman. Maybe I can accidentally kill you and get your loot. 
I don't think you can actually get loot from people you accidentally kill, allies. I don't think, um, you used to be able to in pre-release, but I think they probably patched that so it doesn't happen anymore. But yeah, I think we're going to hire hunters as we can while we have the money, the funds to do it, until we get one that has range skill, uh, resolve, and range defense, basically, or fatigue as their um, passions, <laughs> or or just really high numbers in, one, in, in each of those, and hopefully a good trait as well. You know, we're not greedy. We're not greedy at all. We just want everything on this character. We're also going to hire farmhands until we get similar. You're an ally. Yeah, you're an ally. You know what? You know what? I think I get shots this turn if this guy doesn't die. He's gonna die though, right? Yeah, he's so dead. Never mind what I said. Those heavy arbalisters, those. Those heavy arbalisters. Yeah, you don't have shots. Here is... No, that's... Oh, the last two, right there. A Zvinder and a Standard Bearer. And now it's time for this kill. And you know what? Sir Rupert is already engaged with him. As is their Master Archer in range to hit him. <coughs> Footmen, Mercenaries. Actually, these Mercenaries aren't that tough. I could probably take them. I mean, they're only like 10 dudes as well. I could definitely take them, I think. Uh, yeah, so we didn't do anything this battle except for, you know pussyfoot around and try and enter the battle. It would have been different if we entered on their, like, battle line. We would have been in the center of it then. Hagen, at the very least, show your splendor and glory before these ass wipes, including Sir Rupert, who just can't compare to you. And Edmund, you bring your noble sword and legendary shield before them and just show the splendor of the company. Havard's just chilling in the back. Havertz chilling in the back, you know, having a Snapple. <laughs> Snapple? Where the fuck did that come from? Who drinks Snapple anymore? Isn't that like a 90s drink? <sighs> Not dead. In fact, you killed a dog. You ass fuck. You were overwhelmed five times and you killed a poor... Def well, I guess he wasn't defenseless. He was a freaking war dog, bred and trained. <sighs> to rip your freaking throat out from on top of a horse. There you go. So no level ups as expected. No kill XP for anybody, so that's why no level ups as expected. We did manage to get 140 cash bucks and some food and some tools though, so I'll take it. Not so noble. I don't know what the achievement is for. I don't care. Let's uh, let's start heading. Where where is this camp actually? I should see where this camp is. Oh, I haven't accepted the quest yet. Okay, never mind. We should go to Kaldenberg and accept the quest, and then find out where this camp is, and we will participate in this decisive battle. No food. Fine. That's why we bought a little bit in our last place. Move to the war camp and report to Sir Eisenhertz. Assist the army in their battle against House Harkon. I accept this contract. Where is the camp? It's actually up here. Okay. I'll take it. We got 720 crowns in advance. We're going to get some crowns upon completion. They're probably going to send us to a town. So we could probably uh, buy some food while we're there. But let's uh, turn into the camp. We probably aren't going to get ambushed by one of their armies while we're here. You arrive at the camp, which is more akin to a tent city, and find Sir Eisenhertz, not the guy we helped last time. Welcome, Selsword. You arrived just in time. I don't think this is the guy we helped in the castle siege, the guy we helped against uh, House Rosenving, or whatever they're called, or anybody else. But uh, Sir Eisenhertz, apparently, we're going to be fighting along your side. What can we do? Running low on food... They'll be expecting us, so there shouldn't be any problems. Yeah, you know what, though? You know what? Which wheat field? Oh. Um, yeah, no, see, this wheat field belongs to Hohenberg, which is an enemy, so they should not be expecting me. They're not our own people. You're asking me to raid them, and I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this because um, they're, they're just going to hire a mercenary company to attack us anyway. 
I'm like 99% sure they are going to have mercenaries there to attack us. We are going to get ambushed if that's the case. And if we get ambushed, who do I want in there? Probably Bertwin. Because I'm not going to be in a good position to, uh, to defend anyway. So let's go. We have 68 food. That's enough to get here. It's not going to be enough long run. Ah, oh, man. This is this is rough. This is some rough. Brigands. Many brigand raiders. Are they going to attack me? There's only seven of them. I don't think they're even going to attack me. Yeah, no. They don't even want a piece of this. We just ran right into seven brigands. If that was 22 people from this house, we would be in trouble. But they don't want any of this. Let's get along the road. We're going to go right past their watchtower. Seven dire wolves. They don't want any of this either. Oh, I should have waited until daytime. Yeah, we should have waited until daytime. You're mercenaries, right? Then you'd understand the need for gold more than most. Oh. Oh. <sighs> they paid us 700 up front. They're only going to pay us a couple grand for doing this. We're going to get to participate in a decisive battle. You know what? I'm feeling like a good person today. I mean, these are just peasants. And yes, I am a mercenary. I totally understand the idea of compensation for your work. Like, I, I know that you guys are serfs for the most part, and you are actually obligated without... Like, the compensation that you are getting in order to uh, turn this stuff over is protection from your feudal lords. But, you know, the thing is that my lord, the guy who's asking me to get this, these supplies for him, is not your lord. Or he's not my lord. He's the guy I'm, I'm, I'm contracted to right now. But... He's not your lord. He is not obligated to protect you. He has no feudal obligation to you. So, you are not obligated to give him this food because you, you actually belong to this other house. So, if you're going to give him this, it must be some sort of business deal instead of a feudal obligation. So, I totally understand this 960 crowns. I can justify this. I did not come all this way to slaughter some poor farmers. Otto the Brave, however, quietly states that he did not come all this way to you loudly tell him to shut his mouth and start loading the carts. Okay. Wow, I am surprised that we didn't end up fighting a mercenary company there. I think, like, one time maybe I haven't fought a mercenary company, and I never had that as an outcome. Like, I always had some other thing. I had the usual one where you walk up and, you know, you start loading and all that kind of stuff, and the peasants just didn't, didn't resist, basically. Just as you left it, there will be a battle soon. So let's get some rest, Est. Uh, let's go to Weissenfels and get some food, because I think we're going to need it. We have until tomorrow in order to do this shit, so we are going to have to sleep the night away, and that's fine. See, we still have 18,000 even after doing that. I'm okay with that. We lost 1,000. Not the biggest deal in the world. We're going to... You know, we're, we're still going to make... We're still going to make money off of this, but we're going to pay wages in the meantime while we're not actually helping to do anything, so that's a bit of a problem. Let's buy two sets of food. I don't need ammo right now. I would buy tools if they had it for a good price, but they don't. You still don't have anybody. You still don't have anybody. So let's head back up to the war camp. We're going to probably camp overnight because we're going to need to wait overnight. And then it's going to be the half hour point and we're going to see how tomorrow goes, won't we? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long battle most likely, so I'm going to have that in the next part. But uh, we will see what happens here. Let's camp in the rocks, because why not? And we should uh, let time pass as well while we're doing this. That would only make sense. It is dawn. He wishes to see you. He says, wait. No horses do. What? Look, I can't read. Just go see the commander. Oh, right. We're going to do most likely. Is it? Is this going to be uh, deserters again? Aren't spies the best? 
You meet with Sir Eisenhertz in his tent. He looks rather excited. A shrewd and shrouded little man stands by his side. The commander talks hurriedly. Aren't spies the best? Look at this little man. He tells me, Sir, Har House Harkon has a large shipment of goods coming in. Weapons, armor, food, and so forth. Well, I say, I've got just the man to take advantage of this. News. You! Go and find this shipment and lay it to waste. The company will head out immediately, and by immediately, I mean first thing tomorrow. Because that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.